Hey folks, welcome again to the Morse Summer 2022 Adventures, Day 45. A busy day, uh, not so much long, but busy, uh, a wee bit stressful. I'm not sure exactly if it's uh, supposed to be this way, but last week going over Monarch, the power string got hot and overflowed. Today, coming up with Creek Pass, it did the same thing. Um, this time, though, I was prepared, so I had some some power stream fluid, and, and we were able to get in it. But And it, then we made it on here to Durango uh, at Aspen Rose RV Park, but no other problems. So, I, and I, yes, I realized that Monarch and Wolf Creek Pass are very steep passes. However, comma... Last year, excuse me, two years ago, we came over Monarch in the RV and didn't have any problem. Um, so anyway, we didn't go over Wolf Creek two years ago. We went over the $6 million, was it uh, Sunshine Pass or whatever it's called, but $6 million railroad, uh, uh, road, beautiful. Right up in next to Summer, uh, uh, Silverton, and then down in Durango, but that was two years ago. That's okay. Today we made it. Uh, Christy took a bunch of pictures. I tried to pick the the eighty best, <laughs> and then after a while I just said, "Okay, yeah, 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 yeah." Uh, but it was really nice. The other day, you know, we had went to uh, Saint Elmo, and we saw some, you know, aspens and cottonwoods changing colors. Today, though, they were right up on the road, you know, the trees were, and we could really get to see a, a good, you know, variety of colors. And Chrissy got some good pictures. I tried to, to, to pick some of those to, to post today. Um, I don't know what happened yesterday, folks, with the, uh, the phone, but today, all of a sudden, you know, it asked me to allow and I said allow and all of a sudden I had all my pictures back so I don't know I do know that the camera yesterday had a update and so maybe I have to reapprove all the uh, authorizations or whatever I don't know but you know it but it is it's good we're in Aspen Rose RV Park in Durango Colorado we're gonna be here just for the night we have stayed here before uh, Two years ago for three nights, I believe it was. Uh, we like I, I like this RV park. Uh, you know, it's uh, the spots are are somewhat crowded, but they're like staggered. So, you know, the folks to our right, which is where the door and everything is, their picnic table and everything is behind us. So even though we're facing each other, they're like staggered. So you're not getting any in each other's space. You know, they are a little bit tight. But they're long. I mean, we're in here. We got plenty of room for the RV and, and the toad behind us. You know, it's 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 nice. And this is just one section. This, this in fact this is the same site that we had two years ago. Uh, and I specifically picked this one when I made the reservations. It's you know, I said, well, check a bill of building, and I saw this one. I knew we would fit, you know. Good park. Good park. Large, very large dog park. Uh, you know, that's all fenced in and everything, and and you can just let them run. Let them run. Uh, you know, and then they got to, they got a nice shower. Said, so, oh, excuse me. I did the driving and lower in elevation than we were yesterday or the last. <laughs> Actually, we're lower in elevation than we've been the last two weeks, maybe three weeks, I think. I don't know. Mama, what is the elevation here? Do you know? No. Uh, 79, I think it was. So it, it's about the same uh, as Buny. Uh, but, you know, uh, tomorrow will definitely be lower. Having said all of that, folks. We had a very good trip. Wolf Creek Pass, uh, you know, it, it, it is what it is. 
and it's it's legends and songs are written about it <laughs> it's a steep steep road it's seven degrees or more up and down and it's long it's uh, I got one of the pictures that says uh, 7% grade next 10 miles you know um, well actually it says next seven miles and then when you get to about mile six and a half it says the next six miles and then you see the Wolf Creek Pass sign saying well the summits in 10 miles and uh, the summit is uh, like Monarch uh, a continental divide and you come uh, east to west you come right into Pagosa Springs which is a nice town in itself shout out to Tom and Bonnie uh, Barnes Bonnie was my classmate she was there at the reunion you know so uh, they live in live here now so having said all of that folks we're here the reunion was a success you know I mean everybody that was there had a good time uh, there were some that were ill and couldn't make it other ones had family obligations that that they couldn't make it and we understand all of that and of course uh, you know we remember the 12 or 13 that we have lost in the last 50 years uh, some shortly after graduation and some just within the last year so you know class of 72 50th reunion has uh, has come and gone all right uh, so shout out to all my classmates that are that are that are watching all right and uh, a shout out to uh, to the Lord okay let's get into the word that's yeah, pretty good eh uh, today's scripture is uh, Zephaniah three, seventeen. And folks, you got to realize, you know, he's he's one of the old old prophets, all right, and he's prophesying to the Israelites to Jerusalem. Okay, the Lord your God in your midst, the mighty one will save. He will rejoice over you with gladness. He will quiet you with his love. He will rejoice over you with singing. I mean, wow, what all I mean? Well, here's another version, all right? And that's why I like doing this because, you know, even though I like the, the New King James, I like using the other versions because it kind of gives a different twist on it. And then, oh, okay, yeah, all right. Like, which, which there is there, all right? So, anyway, all right. Uh, the Lord your God is in... The Lord your God is in the midst of you, a mighty one, a savior, who saves. He will rejoice over you with joy. He will rest in silent satisfaction, and in his love he will be silent and make no mention of the past sins or even recall them. He will exalt you over you with singing. I like that. See, and, and folks, that's, you know... I get excited. Okay, I'm sorry. I know I'm not sorry. I'm just excited. He will rest in silent satisfaction. And in his love, he will be silent and make no mention of past sins or even recall them. See, he's talking. Prophet Zahia is talking right now about God. And about us being covered by Christ's blood that was shed on the cross. So that when God looks at us, he sees pureness. He sees redemption. He sees love. His love for us sent his son to die on that cross. Okay. So that's why I say, you know, he will rest in silent satisfaction. And in his love, he will be silent and make no mention of past sins or even recall them. He will exalt over you with singing. You see, when we accept Christ as our Savior, we're covered in Christ's blood that was shed on the cross for our sins. So when God looks upon us, he does not see a sinful creature. But he sees a creature that is new and fresh and clean through the blood of Christ. Okay? That's what they're talking here. In the MSG version, the you know the, the, the message, 
Okay, he talks about Jerusalem. Jerusalem, be told, don't be afraid. Dear Zion, don't despair. Your God is present among you. A strong warrior there to save you. Happy to have you back. He will claim you with his love and delight you with his songs. Again, they're talking about Christ being in the midst of Jerusalem and going to the cross to cover our sins. All right. And here, here's the, the, the English version. The Lord your God is in your midst, a mighty one who will save. He will rejoice over you with gladness. He will quiet you by his love. He will exalt over you with singing. The Lord your God is in your midst, a warrior who saves. He will rejoice over you with joy. He will, not, he will be quiet in his love, making no mention of your past sins, and he will rejoice over you with the joys, the shouts of joy. Now, folks, imagine this. All right? Imagine this, if you will. You're a sinner. As I was. We all were sinners. Okay? And when we ask Christ to forgive us our sins, when we ask God to forgive us our sins and to cover us with Christ's blood, all the angels and cherubs in heaven are rejoicing with God, singing songs of praise to him. That one that was lost has returned. Okay? Because since the garden, every person born has been born into sin. And in the days of old, that's why they had all the sacrifices. In the days of atonement, and they had to, to sacrifice the lamb and the dove and a bull and this and that at different times of the year, different festivals and different, you know, religious religious laws until Christ. You see, God saw that what man was doing, primarily the Hebrews, the Jews, they were making more than what he had asked them to do. And it was almost impossible. So he sent his son and says, listen, I'm going to end all of this. There will be no more on this month or that month or this week having to sacrifice a dove or a lamb or a bull or whatever it may be. There will be one. And he will be the one that will be the way to heaven. And he sent his son to die on the cross for us. You see, folks, it doesn't really matter what the, the name on the door of that church that you go to or the synagogue or the temple or whatever it is that you call your, your place of worship. It doesn't matter what name it's on her. It doesn't matter what name is on the sign there. And it doesn't matter what denomination you profess to be none of that is going to get you into heaven but a personal relationship with Jesus Christ that is what's going to get you into heaven you know I've got many faults don't even let me start counting because there won't be enough paper and pencils in the world for me to list all my faults and God knows every one of them but he says you're still mine because my son Jesus died for you See, I'm so unworthy, but I'm so grateful for the sacrifice of Jesus Christ that I can be cleansed through his blood. So now that when God looks at me, he sees me as a redeemed person, a new creature through Jesus Christ. You know, all things are made new. Old things are put away. You know, and that doesn't mean I'm not, that doesn't mean I'm not sinful, you know, because we sin every day. Sometimes we don't even know it. But we're, you know, God's grace and mercy is sufficient to see us through. And that's what's so beautiful about a relationship with Jesus Christ. 
The Lord your God is in your midst. The Mighty One will save. He will rejoice over you with gladness. He will quiet you with His love. And He will rejoice over you with singing. Folks, if you do not have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ, so that our Father in Heaven can look down upon you and see a redeemed creature, a new creature, I encourage you, just repeat after me. Dear Father, forgive me for I'm a sinner. I repent of my sins. Cover me with Christ's blood, the blood that was shed on the cross over 2,000 years ago, so that I may be bold enough to talk to you and ask for forgiveness, and that I may one day walk on the streets of heaven, worshiping and praising you. And send the Holy Spirit to me, that I, when I read my Bible, that I can understand what, what you would have me to understand that day. I will be able to acknowledge it in my mind and in my heart. Let the Holy Spirit guide me. Forgive me for my sins, O Lord, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. And if you have said that prayer, then I encourage you to find a Christian friend and tell them you just gave your heart to Christ. You just repented of your sins and ask them to help you with your walk. In your daily readings. Read the Bible together with him. With him or her. And pray together. Folks. I encourage you. To say that prayer. If you do not have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. You know there's those that. Play church. I played church for a long time. But when I finally. Developed a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. It was a whole different world. I didn't have to play no more. Okay. God bless you. Tomorrow, Lord willing, we'll be a little bit south and a little bit west. All right. Good night and God bless.